Teamworks University volunteers, thank you so much for committing your time this Saturday. We really appreciate it. Um, it's these kind of experiences that really inspire our kids to go to college. So thank you again for being a part of this Saturday's field trip. Well, without further ado, I want to go over the three very simple team building activities um, you will be facilitating with your kids. All right, our first one is called beach volleyball. So we all know how beach volleyball works, all right? There's a net in the middle, and you're hitting a ball back and forth, right? Back and forth, back and forth with this little net in the middle. Well, beach volleyball is the same, except we've taken a spin on it, and it's a group activity. So you're going to divide your group into two. You're going to divide your group into two equal groups. Each group will get a large, large, large sheet. You'll line up cones right down the middle to kind of act as your nets. All right, so one group on that side, the other group on this side, they'll get a large sheet. And basically what they're going to do is they are going to get a ball. And in that ball, it's going to be hard to demonstrate by myself, but in that ball they're going to cradle, or in that sheet, they're going to cradle this ball and they're going to flip it back and forth. All right, they're going to flip it back and forth. So they're going to try to catch it in the sheet. They're going to throw it in the sheet and catch it again. And they're going to keep going back and forth using that line as kind of acting as their net. All right, so if they miss it, right, so if the opposing team misses, the other team gets a point. All right, so if the ball happens to fall or go out of bounds, you'll also want to create kind of a boundary with your cone. So again, you have cones down the middle. You have cones to create your boundaries. If the ball goes outside of bound, the other team wins a point. If they miss the ball, uh, that team earns a point as well. All right, beach volleyball, just going back and forth, but the whole team will be hanging on to a sheet. So facilitators, please make sure every student on your team has a grasp of that sheet. Make everybody participate and have them work hard to toss that ball back and forth, okay? So make sure everyone is participating. That's beach volleyball, so hopefully you'll have fun, you'll have a beach kind of experience in a large grassy area, all right? So don't forget you are facilitating these activities in a large grassy area, either near the rock wall or the challenge course, all right? Our next activity is called two-man balloon. It's pretty simple. In two-man balloon, it's kind of relay style. You'll set a beginning and an end. So let's say me and a partner, they have to be partners. We're gonna put a balloon in our lower backs. We cannot use our hands. And what we have to do is get this balloon all the way to the other end, go around the cone, and then come back, all right? If the balloon falls, they gotta come back to the beginning and start over and then do it again. And the whole goal is to get the whole team to go and come back while keeping a balloon in their middle, all right? So the first team to accomplish the goal is the winning team, all right? So again, that is, um, a balloon run. The balloon's got to be in their lower back and they cannot be holding it. Only their backs can be holding it. All right? So that is two man balloon. Our next one, caterpillar traverse, some might be a little more complicated, uh, but it's pretty fun. So in my little diagram here, you're going to have group A and group B. Again, you're splitting the group up into two teams. All right? So what group A and group B are trying to do is they're going to cross. All right, and they're going to try to get to each other's other end. All right, so group B is going to try to come over here. Group A is going to try to come over here. And what you're going to get in this activity, you're going to get some hula hoops. Now, of course, you're going to have a diagram, so something that you could see up close. But in your diagram, you're going to lay one hula hoop here. You're going to have two hula hoops here, but they're going to overlap like so. They're overlap like this, and you see there's kind of a little bit of a middle space, and then you'll have another hula hoop. Um, next, you're going to have the students all tie their legs. They're all going to tie their legs together, one leg, all right? They're going to tie one leg to someone else's leg, and what they have to do as a team with their legs tied is step in the hula hoops. They can only step inside a hula hoop. If they step outside the hula hoop, they've got to step, start over, all right? So they step inside this hula hoops, inside the hula hoops, and they're trying to get across to B. So A group is trying to go to B. B is coming around here and trying to get to A. Here's where it gets a little complicated and really requires some team building because they have to cross over each other and make sure that everyone is only stepping inside a hula hoop. But here's the little catch in the hula hoops that overlap. That little center space right there, they're not allowed to step in that center space. They're only allowed to step inside the hula hoop but not where they cross or they overlap. All right? That's caterpillar traverse. So think of a caterpillar. They're all working together as one large little insect to cross over 
and get onto the other side. All right, those are all the team building activities. Those are your three. You've got the beach volleyball, they're throwing a ball back and forth using a sheet. You've got the balloon one where they're using the balloon uh, with their lower backs and running from one end and trying to come back to the other. And then you've got your caterpillar traverse where they're tied by their legs. They're going through these hula hoops trying to cross over and get to the opposite side. All right, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for helping us facilitate these team building activities. Remember, you're on a time schedule, so you're going to work with the kids for about 30 minutes. They're going to stop. They're going to go then to the rock wall, and then the rock wall kids or the challengers kids will come over you, and then you'll repeat the same activities again. We've thrown in some extra frisbees and some extra balls in the event they go kind of fast. Um, so that you know the kids can throw a frisbee or kick a ball around or if you've got some creative team building activities Please feel free to go for it. Have some fun with the kids. All right. Thank you again We really really appreciate your time